Hi, I'm John Noser. This is Board Game Geek TV. This is Eschen Spiel 2012. And again, this is <laughs> Peter and Bart Nyssen. Yes. Um, and this is Pyramidian? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's from a Canadian designer, Yannick Gervais. Uh, box again. Box ah, cover? Box. Yeah. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna get that. Here's the box, folks. And I think in Canada, they will pronounce, this, uh, pronounce it as uh, uh, Pyramidion. Pyramidion, yeah. okay. <laughs> so kind of the Quebecois <laughs> accent there, okay. And this is White Goblin Games. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, 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 this game is a, a two to four player game. You play it in about 60 minutes. And okay. It's a game with a lot of uh, a lot of interaction. Um, <laughs> continue, continue. Good catch there. Yeah. yeah. Um, the player who scores 10 points wins the game. How do you score uh, 10 points? There are some ships uh, uh, waiting here okay. to ship goods to uh, the location where uh, this pyramid uh, uh, will be built. Uh, each ship. Uh, gives you a different number of points. We have a ship that will give you five points, four points, five, five, and this one will only okay. give you two points. And this ship from, uh, that will give you two points will... It's much easier to, to, yeah, to fill yeah. up, okay. O only requires three goods, while this ship requires uh, six goods. Okay. So it's, it's your aim to load the ships to get the right goods and load the ships, and thus make, make sure that you score uh, 10 points. So you're gonna but, be loading the ships all in one fell swoop. It's not like people are gonna be piecemealing no, them. In. No, okay. Um, how do you get your goods? There are, there are, uh, Excellent are, question, yeah. I was just about to ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there are uh, uh, eight uh, different locations okay. uh, that produce those uh, goods. We have uh, wood and we have uh, food. And, wood, uh, jars, yeah. uh, camel. uh, camels. Camels. <laughs> camels, very important. Workers. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. And uh, like I said, those locations uh, uh, produce these goods. And uh, what you're going to do is, um, where do we have the uh, production cards? I haven't seen them yet. We're missing the production cards. Yeah, we'll ah, be here just, Oh, there we go. Uh, these are the production cards, and uh, each round uh, you start with filling up uh, the location with the So you're going to be putting goods. certain goods in certain areas? Yes, a camel on uh, Kize, and uh, tree food on uh, Abu Simbel, that's here, etc. Okay. <clears throat> when it's your turn, you're going to activate one of the locations. And of course, you're going to activate, or you want to activate the locations where, where you want the goods. Yeah. There you go. Uh, absolutely. Um, <clears throat> so um, uh, let's say that I activate this location. Uh, yeah, you're good. Uh, you're a good. bit higher. <laughs> Let's say that I activate this location. Uh, we have uh, uh, nine cards in our hands, and those cards will give you influence in uh, in, in, in in different kinds of. Uh, uh, so you have the influence in the kind of the gold, yeah. the, the yeah. diplomacy, or hand. Yeah, okay. yeah, this is the, the, the merchant, the negotiator, merchant? and the torture. Okay. Uh, the torturer. The torturer. Oh, there you yeah. go. Yeah. That's where I want influence. I want to have influence in the torturer guild. Yeah. yeah. I can imagine. Well, let's say that I play this card. I activate this location and I play this card. This means that I play an influence of six on the merchants. Okay. Every player plays cards. And uh, once every player has passed, uh, if you don't want to play cards, that's also okay. Then you may exchange a card so from your hand. So you can play hand. more than one card? Yeah, okay. definitely, definitely. Uh, but it goes one card, one card, one card, one card. Okay, goes yes. around. Okay. Yes. Until every player has, uh, has and passed. And the cards are face up when yes. you play them. Okay. Yes. And then we're going to have a look uh, first at uh, if the threshold value uh, has been reached. Because for the merchants... You need six, five for you, the negotiator. You need negotiator. at least uh, six, yeah. Let's say I have merchants, I have an influence of six, he has an influence of seven in merchants. Merchants, that mean the threshold value has been met, and this means that he will get all those goods. Oh, nice. He can add them to his supply. Um, the negotiator, the threshold value is five, he has two, I have no, uh, nothing, so uh, nothing happens over there. Okay. If I had played, for example... I could say I have five, so... Yes. If, if you would have played that card, uh, then you uh, were allowed to put a negotiator token on this location. There can only be one negotiator token on each location. And what, okay. does, what does the negotiator do? In the next round, when we've filled up the locations with, okay. new, uh, with new goods, you are allowed to pick one of those goods oh. already before we're going to... So it's a, it's a free good, but I don't know what I'm going to get. 
right. You know, uh, yeah. you see the, the next card. So oh, you see the yeah. next, so yeah. I will know what to get. Yeah. Okay. In, in the next round, you'll see which locations will produce goods. Now, does the so. negotiator stay there throughout the game, or is it one-time use? It will stay there throughout the game until uh, one of the other players... Uh, Overbids. Yes, okay. yes, then his negotiator token will uh, leave the location and your negotiator token will be in place. Okay, so what is the torture influence? Yeah, the, the torture. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the last one. If his uh, threshold value is also met, like in this case, I played a 7, it's a 4. Then I may add an, uh, a torture token uh, on this location. And in the phase of the game where I'm going to load a ship, and uh, let's say I want to load this ship and I don't have uh, food, but I do have the other goods, okay. I can put my torture to work and uh, I will get one food from this location where oh, my torturer okay. is. Even if there's not a token on the card, right? Right, now. right. Okay. So and it's just a matter there. Okay. Yes. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sing a song. <laughs> okay. So, with the torturer, you have a token on here. You can get one food if you're short on that boat. So, if I had all the goods, right, and I needed the food, and I had the torture here, doesn't need tokens on the card. Boom! I get the food, and I'm ship. I'm, 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 my ship is full. Definitely right. And what's really important is that uh, when you have the torture here, it's not that you may add a, a food token to your supply. You can only use a torturer to load the boat. Okay, yes, got it. So it's only for loading the boat. Yes. Well, uh, uh, um, uh, that's the core uh, mechanism of, uh, of the game. Uh, what, what's important is that each location also has a special uh, effect or a special ability. For okay. example, Gizeh uh, has the ability that it, it will decide uh, uh, which player will be the starting player. Okay. And uh, that's, that's also very important because the starting player is also the first one who may pick a boat okay. to, to, to load. Um, like I said, each location has a different, uh, uh, a different uh, ability uh, uh, or a, di uh, a different advantage. And there's a lot of uh, uh, different cards in the game. Uh, like this one, this is the Revolt card. And what does the Revolt card do? If I play a Revolt card at a certain location, for example here, we will add a Revolt token here. What does that Revolt token do? It will... Um, uh, increase the threshold level of uh, the torture. Okay, just the torture. Well, um, um, every level. Yeah, every, every every level. Okay, increases everything. So that makes it really difficult to meet that, and it becomes more uh, less of a, a useful area. Yes, but if you if you uh, if you meet it, then you will get uh, uh, the token that's on the revolt token. Okay. So you, you will you will get an extra good. But if it doesn't meet the, the new threshold level then uh, you will get nothing. Okay. So th this is really a nasty card, and, and, and that's really important in this game. There's a lot of interaction, and uh, there's, uh, uh, there are a lot of ways to, to play this game nasty, so. Okay. That, in so, short, is, yeah. is yeah. Pyramidion. Okay, <laughs> so um, again, how many players, you said? Uh, two to four. And uh, six, how long? 60 minutes. 60 minutes. Yes. yes. Okay, hey ancient Egypt. Yes. yes. The way of Quebecois. <laughs>